What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for part three of the chicken coop build, really kind of the finale of the chicken coop build. Um, next, we're going to just kind of move into nesting boxes and some new feeders and waters and everything. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe so you can get notified when things like that come out and definitely drop any suggestions on uh, your favorite waters, favorite feeders. I am going to try and do some rollout boxes, so excited to give that a try. But uh, yeah, I mean, definitely not everything went well with getting the run finished and getting the inside finished. So uh, stay tuned so you can not make the same mistakes I made, but also stay tuned for the end. You'll be able to see the chickens finally be able to get into the coop and uh, check out their, their new space. So let's get into it. Of course, if you, <laughs> if you have a wife or, you know, you just want to make your coop look nice, uh, paint is an excellent option. Uh, we decided to just go with a nice white here. My dad had some uh, white paint left over in the barn from some project um, in the past, and so we were able to, to use that. I wasn't sure it was going to work, but uh, if you get, get old paint stirred up real good, apparently it works all right. Um, but uh, as you can see when you're painting the T111 boards, is those little seams are hard to get into. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to bore you too much with, with painting. You know, you'll be able to get that done. But uh, when you get done with the first coat, you will need to go back with like an actual paintbrush and fill in those seams to make it look a little nicer. But uh, yeah, here's the paint. So if you decided to leave your walls square like I did, rather than slanting them with the pitch of the roof, then you will have a, a good sized hole on that side. Um, I just threw some chicken wire up there. Um, all of my project that I've used, actually, you'll see later in the run and everything, I did use chicken wire. Um, really, my main thing right now is kind of making sure that the chickens stay in rather than keeping things out um, because it is a pretty secure coop, and I'll be making sure that they go in every night. Um, but if I was to have problems with that, then I would switch over to some hardwire mesh, um, which is just better for keeping things out. I, you know, Raccoons and whatnot won't be able to claw through that. Um, but when you're dealing with chicken wire, at least, um, it is pretty flimsy, kind of some difficult stuff to work with. Just make sure you get some good wire cutters. And also, when you're pulling it, what I found is easiest is just tacking down one side, um, pulling it to where you need to go, tack the other side, and then just kind of try to keep everything flat as you go, as it can be. can be a little tricky to deal with. Um, but just wanted to get these holes covered up. Um, did the same thing on the other side before jumping in to finish up the inside of the coop. Right, finally getting closer to being able to put chickens in here. Wanted to put up a roost um, on the inside. Uh, this is uh, something that I definitely wouldn't uh, complicate. Uh, it's pretty simple. They just need somewhere flat to stand. Um, chickens do uh, stand flat rather than round, so don't put up like PVC or something that won't be comfortable for them. Um, but you can put up some 2x4s. Like I did here, just kind of the general ladder uh, design. But um, when you're thinking about spaces, they just kind of need 12 foot square is, is what you're going for. So that's just where my measurements came from. But pretty simple. I am going to go with some a pine shaving uh, on the ground. Uh, it's just pretty, pretty simple, pretty cheap. If I do have any problems with like them scratching down to the floor and... Uh, um, smelling really bad or whatever, then I'll, I'll update that. But for now, that's what I went with. All right, time to jump into the run. Now we've got everything else ready. So if you remember my first video in getting everything level um, for the actual coop, then you will definitely understand my struggle here again with getting everything level. I thought that I'd be able to dig some trenches and uh, just lay the two by fours in there and make everything look nice. but. Uh, that, that didn't work. I should have leveled everything with the tractor again. Uh, I ended up using cinder blocks uh, to make my stuff level, which is fine for now. Like, it's going to work out. I did go with the hoop coop um, design, but to use it as my run. My reasoning for doing this is because my dad had some cattle panels that uh, he wasn't going to use for anything, so I already had that available. And also, if I ever wanted to... Um, have a chicken tractor or anything then this is going to be super easy to just pull off instead of using it as a run and put some wheels on it and move it around as a chicken tractor and build up a different run so might do that in the future but for now i was just using the material that i had uh, to build the hoop coop 
So I'm not sure that I would suggest doing this exactly how I did it. Um, it worked out in the end and it was fine, but uh, it could have been built a little bit easier. Um, you can see here that I am just using some fencing nails to nail the cattle panels directly onto the two by four while it's laying flat. Um, and so what I did then, as you'll see coming up, is, is I just flipped it over. I had some help from, from Laura and getting it flipped over and screwing in the sides. Um, but what I would do instead is just build the frame. I would, uh, the frame size is 10 by 12. And so I would have built that box and then folded the candle panels and put it inside and then nailed it in um, that way. It would have just been easier to maneuver and whatnot. Uh, you can see that we did, you know, we got it pulled over just fine, but it was hard to um, fight against the cattle panels to get everything screwed in right and make it look all right. So I would start with the frame first, put the cattle panels in, screw everything in, zip tie all the panels together, and do that all in the place that you're going to put it. <laughs> so that was the second mistake, is I built it over here because I had more room, um, but before you brace it up or anything, it's really, really flimsy. And so you have to, when you're picking it up to move it, uh, it's just hard to deal with and you uh, risk flexing those screws out and, and uh, splitting your boards or anything. Luckily, those are some things that could happen. They did not happen like it ended up being fine, but those are some things that I noticed could potentially happen um, when doing that. But we were able to get it moved over, get it moved into place. And this is certainly when, when I realized, you know, I'm going to have to work on some leveling. Um, issues you can see how far that front corner is dipped down which I didn't think was going to be a big issue for the run but when you're building your bracing and everything like you see here um, it does come into play a little bit um, but when you're bracing this um, in order to make your doorway on the front if that's what you're gonna do if you need a doorway um, to get into your run then you can just put a 2x4 up there where wherever the distance needs to be mark a line along the cattle panel and then just cut along that like it makes so you don't have to necessarily measure anything um, just makes the that process pretty simple so I, I fought with it for a little bit before as you can see now before i put up the uh, center blocks to get it all leveled i just made the doorway a lot easier to build in the bracing um, for your header just whatever the size ended up being just put a, one header mm -hmm. across the front there and uh, that'll hold it pretty steady. And really, whenever you just have the two by fours framed up like that, it'll be really, really steady. But adding in these corner bracing, just like you did on the front wall um, with the diagonal bracing, it's going to make it just extremely sturdy. And you won't have any problems at all with, with the panels moving or anything. And if you're not up against a building, like if you're just wanting to build this hoop coop as a standalone, I would just brace it the same exact way in the back. Um, you don't have to worry about a doorway, of course. You can just put... Uh, some chicken wire or mesh um, up along the whole thing and it would hold super firm. Uh, I did switch from using um, fencing nails as they were a little hard to get into some of these areas and instead I used some metal hanging strips and just cut them into pieces and used screws um, to attach um, everything else to the two by fours. Is that one, it, it holds just as well as the fencing nails, probably a little bit better since it screws instead of being nailed in. Um, but it was just easier to use, especially in tight spaces. Um, and again, like I said, I'm worried more right now just about keeping the chickens in uh, since I'll be putting them up every night. If I do have any problems with, with critters getting them um, or anything during the day while they're out, then I'll end up covering this whole thing. But for now, I just use some chicken wire along the bottom and covered the whole front. Um, to keep them in there and so far haven't had any problems with uh, the time I'm recording this but certainly will update you guys if I have to uh, cover the whole thing okay so now that I've got the the run covered and leveled and braced up and everything I just took some one by uh, sixes, I believe they are, that I had taken down from a wall um, during the house renovation to build just a simple door. Uh, again, really don't worry about making it this fancy or anything. just needs to be functional. Uh, one thing that I did make the mistake of, you'll see a bit later, is I made my tolerances like 
pretty exact when and when you're using scrap wood like this is not a great idea I was just thinking in my mind like I've got to keep everything tight to keep the chickens in um, but if you have like a half inch gap or whatever like you're gonna be fine a one inch gap you're gonna be fine um, so don't worry ma about making your tolerances super tight just make sure to get a secure door on there so that you can get in and out without any problems and also it won't let the, the chickens out All right, now with a fully enclosed run, it is time to build the chicken door. And so I just used some leftover plywood, either you know from the floor or from the roof, wherever it, it came from, to uh, make the chicken door. And I do plan on putting an automatic door in eventually. So I just took the dimensions, which was about uh, nine and three quarters tall and eight inches wide, I believe, was about uh, the dimensions. And it was perfect size for my chickens, like they go in and out, no problem. Um, but as you can see, I made the actual door out of the plywood and then made a little template on the sides and the bottom of it um, for the, the door to, to meet up with. And so I decided to put that up um, and then that gave me the exact dimensions I needed to cut out. And so I just snipped the chicken wire loose, drilled some holes in the four corners and used a jigsaw to cut out the actual hole for the door. Then on the sides of that, I used one by sixes to um, overlap the door just slightly, like at most half an inch. And that allows the door to slide in and out pretty easily along that, that track that you created. Uh, that bottom piece is also pretty important because that uh, keeps the any, any animals that might get into your run, uh, won't let them push up on the door or anything. I will add a string to this eventually, you know, just in the meantime before I get the automatic door, uh, but this is the basic layout for it. Now, the best part, the part that I've been waiting on for a while is the chickens. And so I did have them over at Dad's barn, um, and he was he was storing them for me. But uh, I was able to introduce them to their new home. It's always funny watching the chickens um, come into a new spot because, you know, everybody's trying to claim territory and, and check out the new spot and everything, so they're, they're real funny. But enjoy this last little clip of them figuring out their new chicken door and uh, enjoying their new area. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned for, for our next projects. Thanks.